Okay, so <laughs> I'm not gonna lie guys, I did not exactly see this coming. I mean, there was no mention of it in the uh, in-game news release for the Tanabata celebration. Obviously, before the campaign started, a lot of people, myself included, had predicted that these guys would finally get their Extreme Z Awakening. But when, yeah, there was nothing in the news, I was like, damn, I guess they're just holding on to it for another future Saga celebration later on. But nah, instead, they were just, you know, keeping it as a surprise. And out of nowhere, last night, they dropped the Extreme Z Awakening details for the Tech LR Rose and Zamasu, the last of the OG5 LRs to get their Extreme Z Awakening, and arguably the best one. Arguably the best one. I think right now, in a lot of people's minds, LR Broly holds that title over the Int Gohan, over the Fizz Trunks, and the uh, AGL Majin Vegeta, right? But I quickly looked at the EZA details before I started recording, and they just look absolutely insane. I mean, I'm talking like top 10, maybe even top 5 LR in the game. And I could be overreacting, you know, this is just my first impression on paper, so maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, the, the details um, look very promising. Very, very promising. So uh, with that said, why don't we just jump right into it, starting with the pre-Extreme Z Awakening details, so you guys have something to uh, compare, right? So, the current leader skill is Tech Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%, 12 Key Super Attack, Colossal Damage, and Raises Defense by 30% for 3 turns, and then 18 Key Super, Mega Colossal Damage, and Raises Defense by 30% for 6 turns. Passive is Recovers 15% HP at the start of turn, and attack plus 30% with each attack received up to 120%. So obviously, just like most of the other uh, earlier LRs, not a lot of defense. We do have some defense on the you know 12 and 18 key supers, but it really wasn't enough. And on the passive, it's literally just attack. The recovery is nice, but you know for today's standards, with events getting harder and harder, with enemies hitting harder. And harder uh, these guys were just not very uh, viable defensively so with the extreme Z awakening now the new leader skill becomes tech type key plus 4 HP attack and defense plus 120 uh, percent 12 key super attack raises attack for one turn that's new causes cost of damage and raises defense by 30 percent for three turns and then the 18 key super raises attack for one turn causes mega cost of damage and raises defense by 30% for 6 turns. So the defense part is the same. The uh, you know attack is new for 1 turn. And then their new passive with the EZA. Recovers 15% HP at start of turn. Same as before. And key plus 2 and defense plus 50%. Good start. So already getting some extra defense. And then we're getting key plus 2 and defense plus 50% and guards all attacks for three turns from the start of turn. And then attack plus 100% when performing a super attack, plus an additional key plus one up to key plus four, and attack and defense plus 30% with each attack received up to 120%. So uh, one thing I'll address right now is the fact that three turns for this guard and 50% extra defense seems to be not very long. That's only two appearances, right? But the reason they have this is so that you're not, you know, like super worried in the beginning of an event before they have a chance to build up this defense uh, from taking hits, right? So for the first three turns or first two appearances, uh, they're still going to be pretty tanky with this guard uh, of all attacks and also this extra 50% defense. And then once you have this part fully built up after you take four attacks, they're going to be really tanky just from their defense that they don't need the guard of all attacks anymore. Although it would have been nice to have that for longer. Um, I understand why it's only for three turns, right? And let me tell you right now, guys, 
um, with this additional 100% attack, with the raising of attack on the 12 and 18 key supers, um, these guys are gonna hit stupidly, stupidly hard. I'm talking about easy, like, 10 plus mil attack stat. Um, I think I've seen some calculations, you know, have them up to 14, 15 mil. Obviously, I'm talking about, like, rainbowed, right, at 100%, but yeah, we're looking at, like, 15 mil attack stat, uh, defensively really, really good, fully built up, like, uh, over 500k, I think, or 6, 700. It depends on the rotation, of course. Depends on if you have supports and leader skills and all that stuff. But the point is, at their best, they're insane offensively and insane defensively. So what more can you really ask for from an Extreme Z Awakening, right? I mean, as I said earlier in the video, I think they might be the best of the OG5 LRs. I think they might be the best LR Extreme Z Awakening, period, actually. Yeah, forget the OG5, just overall, of all the LR Extreme Z Awakenings, I think these guys might now hold the title of best LR EZA in the game. And once again, I can't, you know, say this with 100% confidence because it's early. Uh, this is my first impression, so over time, once I've had more time to think about it, once I've actually had a chance to, like, you know, see them do their thing, then my opinion might change, but right now, in my mind, this is the best LR Extreme Z Awakening in the game. I mean, they must have had whoever designed um, the LR Broly Extreme Z Awakening, which is universally loved, right, among the Dokkan community. Like, people set that as the standard for what LR Extreme Z Awakenings should be. And, yo, whoever designed that one, the LR Broly EZA, must have designed this one because it's like on the same level just like two years later so it's you know even better right so uh is it has it been two years since the str lr broly eza it's been a while i forgot exactly how long the point is they did a good job here they did an amazing amazing job and um it's awesome because they are easily one of my most highly anticipated lr extremes the awakening so if we had to, you know, sit through some somewhat lackluster, somewhat mediocre EZAs like for Majin Vegeta, which is not like bad, right? It's just not as good as it could have been. Or, you know, Int, Gohan, and stuff like that. To get to this, then I'd say it was worth it. I'd say it was worth it. So, um, I guess that's it, guys. That's all I really got to say. That is the... Uh, Rose and Zamasu easy yay. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it, how you guys feel about it right now. Of course, once again, it's early, so our opinions could change. So just right now, in this moment, give me your uh, first impressions, because my impressions are very, very positive, man. Very, very positive. I think they're absolutely busted. I think they're uh, positively broken, <laughs> and uh, hopefully I'm right. Hopefully I'm right. So uh, that's it, guys. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.